Match day here in Baku as Azerbaijan take on England. And we start with the home side here. They've made four changes to the team that lost narrowly at Ukraine as Emil Safarov, Mamadov, Apadov and Salinsky come into the 11. Three of the starters have already been capped at senior level. Hussainov is the leader there with five caps and is the only one not to play his club football in his homeland. He paired to the side that beat Northern Ireland in November. James Trafford, Harvey Elliott, Tyler Morton, Noni Madweke keep their places. Morgan Rogers makes his debut. Kali Chukumeka misses out with a slight knock but is expected to be back for the game on Tuesday. Ted and Mengi was called up but has returned to Luton to get treatment on an injury. Really want to win this group, they don't want to be gambling on second place. No, I think it's uh, something that... From Bosnia. And we're underway. England looking to make it three successive wins. They had a good November international window, beating both Serbia and Northern Ireland. What can they do against Azerbaijan here today? They are almost certainly to be set in a back five at all times, by the way they're setting up here and by what we've been told about them as well. England are going to have to move the ball quickly. Tyler Morton finding James McAtee. McAtee again. Lovely change of pace from him. Right, play it square there to Elliot. Late challenge, the referee lets it go. Elliot is in great goal scoring form for the 21s at the moment. He scored three in their last two games. Driving run here by Callum Doyle. And their first save for the Azerbaijan. Thin. I'm just looking in the middle there uh, with uh, Madweki probably looking for the cross for the shot. Chance ready for the home side to venture forward. They have it here with Jamal Zafarov. Crossed by Akhmadov. And pick up there. Azerbaijan can attack. And as you said, last uh, they actually beat Latvia as well uh, in a friendly before the Ukraine game last out. And essentially that's two wins out of three for them. So if they've got any confidence. Looking for that run. Doyle makes it. Callum Doyle. It's a good run by him. Stop to the end of it. Just creating the space out on the left-hand side. But again, this happened a couple of times already. England players running with the ball and losing it rather than possibly making a quick pass to someone in a better position. Back out here to Morton. McAtee. It's a nice spot into Rogers and nodded behind. Rogers cross been spot on. I'm just trying to see if uh, if someone been Harvey Elliott would have been there for his. The, the interesting thing, I'm talking about the footage and uh, the other thing with Azerbaijan, the, the, the two victories they've had uh, against Luxembourg and Latvia. Hang on a second, here's McAtee and Rogers. Just the wrong... Using the width, bit, bit of movement causing confusion. Um, and Rogers, unfortunately, there with a the near... Puck. They've had, a as we got here, a 5-4-1. So uh, England's preparation would have been with either setup. Chance here for Azerbaijan now. Home crowd encourage Emil Safarov. It's a good ball in. Great play there by England. Again, uh, I think we're going to see the uh, replay of the headed chance here. Yeah, there was good movement in the end, but James Trafford wasn't wasn't bothered uh, or wasn't flustered, shall I say? Uh, but the turn away there. Harvey Elliott left behind, and the break on here. Akunzade, Salianski will lay it off. You're playing against and giving you a lot of chances. You just assume they're going to continue doing that throughout the game. I think very similar to an FA Cup game where you've got the, the big team versus the minnows and the big team just take it for granted in a sense just to, uh, to make sure that all this dominance that England have had in the first half is actually paid off. Doyle, Philogene. Oh! If people yeah, weren't watching yeah, his yeah, games yeah. this season. Certainly we're taking more interest after an outrageous goal that he scored for Hull at Rotherham. A chance here for Elliott who's in and England are ahead. Once again Harvey Elliott on the score sheet for England. They've had to bide their time in this first half. But the Liverpool man edges England in front. Yes, uh, I tell you what, I knew Harvey Elliott was going to do it. A bit of hope in this game. It's a beautiful ball, great run round the back. Uh, round the back of the, uh, the defence there. Uh, and a great finish, yeah. Just trying to get a super. A sixth goal in five games for Harvey Elliott. 
Yeah, it's been a, been a couple of times, haven't they, where England have played over the back, but the, the, the previous ones has been a bit more space in round behind. Uh, but Harvey Elliott worked really well. Of time, but right now he sees himself as a development coach. It's a very good group at his disposal here as well. One in behind looking for Philogene. He might get lucky here. Persistence seeing him through. And it is a second goal. Noni Madueke into the near post. And England double up just minutes after going ahead. Yeah, and again, it's a good ball down the line. Gets behind the back back five. Um, it's actually a goal or an own goal. Uh, I have to see it on the replay here. But again, it's, it's great persistence here. Madueke in the middle, as you said. I think that's an own goal. Well, this replay might tell us more. As you say, great persistence from Philogene. His pull back. And it might well have gone in off the knee there of Suleiman Damadayev. Certainly the... I think for now we will as well. Yeah, yeah, we'll give it to him. Yeah, in the, uh, I'll tell you what, any question marks over goals scored recently have to go with the person who looked like they shot. Not sure whether they're dubious. Forward by Emil Safarov. And they could be through here. Great recovery challenge though by Doyle. And a sent Ember. Scored in that game as well. One from one for him so far. That's a good ball in there. The of Talking to each other, Salianski um, in the middle there. And that was a yep, for England. Philogene, the one man wall. The delivery is into a good area. It needed someone to climb high. And he'll be okay to carry on because his first half, as we went through the highlights at half time, I thought was exceptional. He really was heavily involved in both goals uh, and looked to threat. And even in the first movement here, the ball down the left hand side was intended for him. Marweke trying to force his way through there, didn't quite have the strength to get beyond Damadaya. Talked about it towards the end of that first half, seems to be the Achilles heel. There'll be people out there saying that you know we should experiment, we should give people who don't normally get an opportunity and a chance to possibly play under 21s and that. Forward. Still going here for Azerbaijan, Zafarov and hit from range and Trafford with two strong arms to pile that one behind. Not able to get the challenge in there. Shot from distance, yeah. This one bunched up here. Oh, this with an easy nod away. Speculative, as it was hit from range by Abdurrahmanov. I think you should have called me. I used to do studies on it. The, uh, it, it is highly ineffective. Um, there are times as England get a chance. Rogers. Angle was tight against him. And the assistant a fine passing range we've seen that already from him and a good delivery as well it's in for 3-0 I think it hit Philogene last there but it wasn't his initial effort Harwood Bellis I think with the nod down either way England are 3-0 up they've got the three in the edge of the box no one's really wanting to go for it it's a great header as you say takes the deflection goalkeeper absolutely no chance at all <laughs> Philogene's actually turned his back that his side have come out and scored a quick goal in this second half 3-0 they lead yeah, I, I think Lee will be happy as you say because of the timing of it but more importantly that would have been a set play they've worked on it was Morton spread of play Philogene has been influential throughout and he is again here nearly an own goal there it's hit Mamadov last don't practice your own defenders deflection Oh, young enough, I suppose you should say. England with a chance here. Elliott's spinning up the head there again of Harwood Bellis. Uh, uh, I think it just takes a little knock uh, from the uh, from the 21 days. How you used to get through those long flights? I'm trying to think. I had uh, 11 caps, I think, for the under 21s. Furthest I might have. Got on his, I don't know, or even for the England team, I guess. Germany or Hungary? <laughs> here's McAtee. It's a trademark run from him. He still might get a shot away. McAtee goes down. Penalty. Or is it? Looked like that could have been a foul. Um, the Maisie run. Bit of miscontrol there from the defenders. There weren't any complaints. Uh, oh, no. I think the referee's got it right. Spot on. Yeah, absolutely. Well done, referee. Anthony Bandage, the man in the middle. Cast 
becoming the first English coach to win the under-21s European Championship in 39 years since Dave Sexton guided them to the trophy. The England players running through the middle, but ball slightly short and intercepted. Morgan Rogers has done really well. He can't shoot, but Elliot can. 4-0 England. And this is now officially a rout. Fantastic goal again by Harvey Elliott. I tell you what, he loves under-21 football, doesn't he? Uh, great play uh, by, by uh, uh, Rods there getting down the line. Harvey Elliott finding the space in. You do on the score more. I mean, this is wonderful play here. Pins the defender. Nice bit of skill in the turn. And say Harvey Elliott in the space, holds his run, edge of six. And that's uh, a tap-in really, but great play by Rodgers. Another goal for Harvey Elliott. Scored twice against Northern Ireland in their last game. Scored twice here today. Five in three games. He's a man bang in. And heading towards their biggest away win of the qualification campaign on their travels. From, from my record, this could be up there with Azerbaijan's heaviest home defeat. Azerbaijan trying to change things here. Veliev. Filiji. Half minutes left of normal time. Maybe a chance here. Abdulayev. Trafford makes the save. And Azerbaijan have got themselves on the score sheet. Clean sheet gone for England. And it's been put in by the substitute, Ramin Nazulit, who's only just come on. Yeah, that's going to be a blow for James Trafford and that England back line. But the, you could see this happening. I did mention it earlier about how the line was staggered, the, the, the defensive line. Same thing here, defensive line was, you can see the staggered line, yeah, and he's onside, there's no question about it, you don't even need VAR for that, um, in the end it's a half chance with the shot there, I think James Trafford possibly could have held that, but the, the push away has fallen nicely for the subject. Yeah. It's probably not going to affect the outcome overall, but I think Trafford will be disappointed to lose his clean sheet there, considering he's had barely anything to do all game. Yeah. It was uh, the Giant team is that they don't concede many goals. Now, yes, Germany did beat them 7 0. I uh, hadn't gone that far back historically. But Hang on a sec. Norton Cuffey. England could be in straight away again. And they've re established that four goal margin as it's put in by Archie Gray. What a moment for him as he scores a debut goal just minutes after coming on. That is a straight away. It's a great run. Great position there. Touch out his feet, yeah. Goalkeeper jumped in the air, out of the way a little bit, but Archie Gray with, a, with an accomplished finish in that bottom corner. That's lovely. Change here now for Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan We're going to send on Nazim Hassanjade here of Zira. Five one will give a, a nice seal to it for England, won't it? Yeah, and uh, Lee Carsley will be <laughs> smiling to himself. To say Connor Cody will be with me for that one, England international. England five one winners here in Azerbaijan. By no means a vintage performance, but. A fantastic scoreline for Lee Carsley.